Hello and in this screencast for Apache ISIS I just want to explore persistence by reachability so I have my application here where I've got a customer that can have a collection of uh, orders I can add an order for some baked beans if I can type and there we are and then if we go back to our IDE we can see that um, we had an insert into the customer table and then the uh, customer itself was updated to, to bump up the version for optimistic locking and then here's the code that was uh, called so that's all fine but um, because of persistence by reachability what that means is if we attach a non-persistent uh, customer order to a persistent entity that is to say customer then you'll find that data nucleus the, the ORM will automatically persist the object for us so in other words what I'm saying is we don't need to have that line there so let's uh, try the application again and see it working okay and the apps running so here's a new object and um, let's do uh, add order uh, baked beans again I don't know why but there we are um, and then if we have a quick scroll through we can see that it's the same as it was before an insert followed by an update without us having to explicitly persist that new customer order so there we are that's persistence by reachability give it a go try it out